Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and this time we're going to look at an arcade classic called Millipede, and it is the sequel to Centipede, which was created by Atari in 1980. This sequel was created in 1982 by Atari, and uh, it's a worthy sequel. It's uh, It gets better, I think, uh, with repeated playings. Um, there's a number of elements that are similar from Centipede in Millipede. In uh, in this game, you have to face uh, Millipede, but really it seems to have the same amount of body uh, segments as Centipede did. There's uh, some of the differences. There are dragonflies, there are mosquitoes, there are earwigs, inchworms, um, beetles, and bees that are different. There is also uh, a DDT bomb and that's a <laughs> outlawed, uh, or a, it's it's not around anymore, uh, a bug spray that was very harmful to the environment. But uh, the different things, um, the bee is, takes the place of the flea from Centipede. It makes new mushrooms. Uh, the earwig takes the place of the scorpion, which poisoned mushrooms in the first game. The beetle... It crawls around on the bottom of the screen in your safe area, and there it is, and uh, it, ex it exits left. It uh, turns mushrooms into indestructible flowers. Uh, the mosquito will bounce downward diagonally when shot. The screen moves up one row. Um, the dragonfly zigzags downward and leaves mushrooms. The DDT explosion, when you shoot it, will make this radius that destroys enemies and mushrooms within range. And we'll get started. You can choose to start at 15,000, but you start on a later level, and I'm going to do that. Really, the propensity for scoring more points is there in this game than Centipede, but the game is harder, in my opinion and uh, I am not very good at it. The general laws apply to Millipede that applied to Centipede. The Centipede starts at the bottom, comes downwards. If it touches a poisoned mushroom, it will fall straight down at you. Um, otherwise, it will come down. And it will rebound and go down one level when it runs into something. Uh, there's the flowers that... Uh, uh, I think it's the beetle, yeah, it creates, and uh, they are indestructible. And there's the beetle right there. Contact with anything will kill you. That beetle will go off the screen, and uh, some other time later it'll return. And now, once in a while, you will get a chance to earn bonus points by shooting consecutive... Um, either bees, dragonflies, or mosquitoes that come down at you in swarms just for a short while. That was the inchworm. When you shoot him, the enemies slow down for a few seconds. And your goal is just to destroy... Oops. Your goal is to destroy the whole centipede. And then uh, you'll move to the next level. And there I just shot a dragonfly. The mosquitoes... Uh, fly downwards at a, a diagonal angle. Once in a while, the mushrooms will die and regenerate. Ah, crap. Yeah, collision with anything will kill you. If you can, try to shoot the DDT capsules and uh, take out a big chunk of the centipede. And there was the uh, earwig that creates poison mushrooms. And again, when the centipede runs in, or the millipede runs into those poison mushrooms, oops, he will drop straight down. It's it's kind of difficult to take advantage of uh, the opportunities to score lots of points. And again, shooting the inchworm slows the enemies down, so use this to your advantage. But uh, there's another opportunity to get some extra points. 
the value will go up to a thousand, it won't go any higher. Uh, shooting that dragonfly that moves down at an angle will make the screen move up. Uh, shooting the beetle will make the screen move down. And you get an extra life every 15,000 points. Ah, crap. I was not very good at this game. Um, still am not. I wasn't particularly great at Centipede either. Notice that the uh, high score list is higher, much higher than in uh, Centipede, so you really got to take advantage of higher scoring opportunities in this game. Uh, I'm going to play a few times, but uh, yeah, uh, the enemies that can come down in swarms are the bees, the uh, dragonflies or the mosquitoes and you can get <clears throat> you can get consecutive points for the more you shoot now on this later level that I chose starting with 30,000 points I get two spiders appearing at once and the spiders on this game are worth more than in uh, centipede they can be worth up to 1200 points Instead of just 300, 600, 900. But you'll definitely want to destroy the spiders if you can. But just watch out for when they, like, bounce quickly up and down at the very bottom. Note that uh, you have an indication on this game, which is your uh, safety zone. Or, uh, which is your, uh zone where you want to defend and you as high as you can go with the uh, with your uh, target or, or cannon or whatever you want to call it that's as high as it'll go that that colored area and generally you want to keep it clear of mushrooms if you can because of course the uh, millipede pieces will uh, there's another swarm moment where you can get consecutive bonus points. But uh, the uh, centipede will bump into uh, will bump into the mushrooms in your safe area and move downward. So try to keep it clear of mushrooms if you can help it. Phew, just just cleared those uh centipede body parts but that was millipede by atari in 1982 the sequel to centipede i will play uh, from zero on this game you know a, a regular game without starting at a later level but it's really difficult to get very far if you do it's best to start at a later point in this game if you can help it. Yeah, there we go with uh, starting at zero, but really you should start at 15,000 at least. Yeah, the general physics for this game are the same as uh, Centipede except for where the newer enemies are concerned. I saw this at pretty much all the arcades, and I had this on uh, some sort of Atari Classics compilation for the PlayStation. This, by the way, this also has a, a trackball, as did Centipede, and a rapid fire button. The fire button you can just hold down and you'll just keep releasing shot after shot. can only shoot one shot at a time on the screen, but you can just keep hitting targets and uh, you'll keep shooting repeatedly. But yeah, clear out. Try to keep an area clear of mushrooms. I mean, the colored area, which is as high as your, can your uh, cannon can go. And notice that the cannon looks a little different than it did in Centipede. And also notice that the uh, 
millipede in this game will not will just go up as high as the colored area is and then come back down that was not very good yeah I would uh, I would suggest trying to uh, trying to start with a with a point score already like 15,000 or 30,000 because otherwise it's hard to hard to score and really hard to get on the high score list there I got the uh, earwig which again poisons mushrooms and when the millipede runs into the mushrooms it will drop straight down at you which sucks and you'll definitely want to try to use the DDT to your advantage Ooh, I just got him in time. The, the propensity whoops, for scoring a lot of points is best uh, during the swarm stages when the enemies come right down at you real quick. You'll definitely want to do that. There's a flower that's indestructible. There's the inchworm. Slows down the enemies. Definitely uh, take advantage of that, too. It really didn't uh, take much advantage of the DDT capsules. Oops. But try to clear out the, uh, try to clear out the mushrooms from this, uh, safe area. Because you don't want the, uh, you don't want the millipede coming down at you. Uh, when it runs into those and killing you. But again, uh, once in a while, those uh, the old mushrooms will die off and be replaced by new ones on the playfield. But that was Millipede, the sequel to Centipede. This was created in 1982 by Atari, and Centipede was created in 1980 by Atari. But that was Millipede, created by Atari in 1982. Classic uh, shooter with a trackball. Well, this is Crazy Climb Ray saying thanks for watching Millipede, Millipede by Atari in 1982, the sequel to Centipede, and I'll catch you later with another game. See you then, folks. Bye-bye.